Well, tonight, the prosecution has now wrapped up its case in the rape trial of former Indianapolis Colts player Josh McNary. In fact, McNary is on the witness stand right now. Earlier today, the jury heard from the woman who says the McNary attacked her, but defense attorneys turned her testimony into a case of he said, she said. Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van Wyck was in the courtroom and has more on what happened today in the trial. Sex crimes detective Derek Cross testified much of the afternoon. The alleged victim, he said, had only a vague description of her attacker and the location of the assault. A cell phone she grabbed before fleeing led police to Josh McNary, his downtown apartment, and evidence inside. A DNA expert testified McNary's and the woman's DNA were found on his sheets and comforter, but also testified that in no way could it be used to determine whether the sex was consensual or forced. Investigators say the two met at a downtown bar and at 3 in the morning walked to McNary's nearby apartment. She claims the football player became aggressive despite her pleas to leave and attempts to fight back, scratching McNary. He forcibly had sexual intercourse with her. In court documents, McNary insists the sex was consensual. Questioned by the defense, the detective admitted he never ordered blood samples taken from the woman to determine if alcohol was present and that no one in McNary's apartment building heard a struggle or loud noises the morning of the alleged assault. That was Rich Van Wyck reporting. Now, Rich is in the courtroom right now as Josh McNary has decided to take the witness stand in his own defense. We will let you know of any new developments throughout this newscast, also at WTHR.com and on social media.